Drones have swarmed Langley. Did you know that? Yeah, I read that. That's pretty crazy. Uh, was it? So, here's the thing, though. Was it drones or was it, dare I say, the uh, unidentified flying thingies? It could have been the aliens. It could have been. Well, there you go. You just said it. So, um, <laughs> well, it's, we, we say it Great. for... Starts with a wall, ends with a bat. <laughs> Keep anyway, going. Keep in the going. news, mysterious <laughs> drones swarmed Langley for weeks. So much so that they sent up a NASA WB-57 high altitude jet. Uh, and they were basically saying that uh, the spate of bizarre drone incursions deeply underscores the still growing threats to the uncrewed aerial systems. Our next segment, we're actually going to talk about that a little bit. Mm -hmm. And and deep dive into the big brain stuff but to protect operational security they don't it, it, talk about the impacts but that's langley right langley is where the the raptors are yep Tyndall moved the move to eglin then they moved to langley that's where all the t-38s went so it's they could be spying on our old t-38s because to see well how they're still flying after 70 years like they may want to know how do you keep a jet flying <laughs> For 70 years that gonky landed at least a hundred times money money Money's uh and they answer. also so they also have this but i don't know that it's saying that they actually went and looked at the ships but it's possible they said it's unclear uh whether that happened but at a hearing before the senate armed service committee u.s air force general is that french doug gilia <laughs> gillet i don't want to talk about french <laughs> yeah, oh, that's right. <laughs> we do have a pending Manchester. That's true. Uh, anyway, as the deputy commander of CENTCOM, he said, upon taking command, I began a 90 day assessment to inform the Department of Defense, the Joint Force, and Congress on their ability to execute assigned tasks. Once complete, I look forward to the sharing of findings. As part of that, the counter uh, uncrewed aerial aircraft system mission dominated the first month. There were many incursions uh, during this time. Uh, and they talk about all of the activity going on, trying to find it. December 12th, 2023, eight Vipers, four tankers, two combat air patrols over Virginia. So it was kind of a big deal. And then the WB-57 started doing imaging uh, at 22,000 feet circling around. Look at that thing, man. Just wow. right over it. But that, look at that. Would you fly wow. that gonky? No, dude. You wouldn't fly it? Dude, I'm... I'm superficial. That thing's ugly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, so they've been conducting routine mission, aerospace warning, and aerospace control. We can't confirm we conducted flight activities, but they're not going to say what. Uh, I have to refer you to the FBI on the law enforcement issue. So a lot of speculation and talking around it. This is not the first time Langley and other military <clears throat> bases across the country have uh, had drone overflights. Remember they had that drone swarm off the coast, that uh, that boat? Remember the the ship? And the little drones were out, you know, and they were kind of worried about that. But they've identified threats to drones pose as a flight line as a specific point of concern. Um, right now, it appears to be innocuous. However, yeah. comma, they laid out this exact scenario in 2017 in their own article, which you can go read on uh, The War Zone. So, Gonky, aliens or... China well, doing surveillance <clears throat> in preparation for something. I don't know. Remember, I mean, there was a time not too long ago when we were flying red air where they were literally putting notums out, <clears throat> right? Up yes. In, up in the East Coast there, Langley, Norfolk area. Yeah. Um, yeah. And even, <clears throat> even a little bit down here in the Panhandle, right? I mean, we had some guys see some stuff and it's, are these um you know those unidentified phenomena thingies or are these drones because i have to think if dr if man-made drones are are swarming you dude one of them's gonna crash one of them's we're, like we're gonna get our hands on one of them well so i think this is more like what you see in ukraine these little small drones that you can attach weapons and to like little hand grenades and stuff that's my concern right is and we're going to talk about this in the next article but if you are surveilling critical infrastructure, surveillance is just one step away from the Ukraine scenario because they just did it. The Ukrainians just uh, allegedly took out the A-50 on the ground. They went to their base. So if it's happening there and could it happen here where 
let's say a big country is preparing for an attack somewhere across the world, they send their sleeper cells or whatever here and attack our infrastructure. That is the concern because, you know, first surveillance, then attacks, and it's the same drums. I get it, but um, I, 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 that, yeah, completely plausible. Uh, in my mind, it's if if there are if there if this is a swarm, meaning a lot of them, um, surely they they have to launch right from somewhere. I mean, you could do a dude throws them up. I mean, it's just yeah, you know, I, back, take them out of a backpack and throw it up. I mean, you don't really have to launch from anything from a drone like that. I mean, we're talking like a, like I got a Skydio back here. I mean, you know, it's, I, you can, I, you can strap a, a I get warhead. It. <clears throat> I get it. what I'm saying is if it's being launched within the United States, a lot of them, I would think that we would probably be able to catch one of them. Maybe not, but I, I, I would think so. In the Ukraine scenario, it's a little different, right? These drones are on a one way. They don't care. Um, yeah. They don't care if they get caught, right? I mean, they know, right? Because the Russian, oh, this one didn't make it. It's a broken drone, right? Or we shot it down. Um, I'm not, I'm just playing devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I could see both sides of the spectrum. I think it's, I think it's kind of crazy that something is buzzing around and they bring in this b57 thing that flew at first flew in 1953 i don't know what it's gonna do or can do yeah uh, but you know i i just wonder if it has ties to the notums that we were familiar with a couple years ago uh i wonder if they're the same yeah I, I agree but i think it's a different type of drone or it's or it's progressing because here's the thing with these drones um uh, they're small they're hard to track right i mean you're talking very lightweight Put them in a backpack, fly, come back, put it back in a backpack, and you're gone. Think about how long it takes to dispatch something. You know, I've, I've gone out to calls for, for like, I've talked about, like, lasers. You know, people point lasers at airplanes. By the time it, like, the FBI, by the time somebody notifies them that, hey, we've got this, then it goes to the FBI. The FBI calls local, local law enforcement. They go and, you know, canvas the area. Maybe they have a helicopter. Maybe they have something. But by the time it gets there, you're talking... You're, it's enough time for them to pack up and leave, especially if they've got a scanner or if they've got some way to, to surveil. My concern with this is the escalation, right? Because, yes, at the very least, it's bad because they're getting intelligence. You know, they're seeing, they're, they're doing all the, you know, getting good photographs of the F-22 and the, the critical infrastructure and all that stuff at the, at the very least. But at the worst... Ukraine and um, Israel, those conflicts have shown us that they're taking out tanks. You know, how many, how many videos have you seen where they have the FPV drone, the first person view drone, and they just fly right over and nobody knows they're there. And they drop the grenade into the turret, you know, into the, into the, the whatever commander's um, seat, drop that in, and it takes out the whole tank. Right. Now, or... It's a suicide drone. So that's actually just one drop in one. He can go back or it can go back. But then you take a suicide or a kamikaze drone or, or whatever, a one-way drone, it becomes a missile. Right. And now you've got a small missile and, you know, foreign countries. I mean, DJI is a Chinese company. You know, DJI is a, a Chinese manufactured company. Drone technology is not, like, localized in one area, right? Right. You know I mean, yeah it's it's prolific so yeah. it could be it could be china it could be terrorist cells it could be you know russia it could be like there are so many different threats that it could be because it's not like a it's not like nuclear technology where it's like okay we know pretty much who has it who's developing it and what their timeline is this is something that i think there was one with uh uh the houthis where they had sticks have you seen that one where they put the sticks mm -hmm. together and made a drone? They they actually fashioned a drone out of some sticks because it, it it really is not that difficult to create, but it's very hard to defend against. Right. And, you know, we kind of live in this, oh, everything is fine. But, dude, I mean, right. It's scary. Yeah. No, I know. I know. <laughs> you combine uh, drone technology with AI technology, then it gets real freaky. Well, and it does. Like I'm telling you, my Skydio back here, um, I've got a Skydio 2 Plus, and it will recognize a person, a dog, or whatever. You tell it to follow it, it'll follow you around. 
you know, and you can tell it, Hey, I don't want you to look at me from this angle. I want you to look from this angle. And it just knows. And the more advanced government side of Skydio, which Skydio is an American company, uh, the more advanced side of that, they're using it to autonomously do uh, power line surveillance, pipeline surveillance. You know, drones are being used in crop dusting right? Uh, because it can just do the, the path, the predefined path. I don't think it's that far away. And I don't think it's that unrealistic that, you know, we should consider this a major threat um, right now. Yeah, <clears throat> you bring up all good points. I, I, the whole, and like you said, there's a whole article where we're going to talk about <clears throat> as far as drones and, you know, how they fit into actual the air warfare picture and how do you defend against that? I mean, I, I don't know, man. Everything you said is uh, completely valid. I, I just, you know, I just question, I just question where they're coming from. Uh, because if it's, it's, if it's truly a swarm, I would think via intelligence, think eventually they're going to find out like, where these and i wonder why did they bring in an airplane like i don't i, think, know, I don't even know i think what, it's a misnomer i think the, think the so. swarm is is like you know a half a dozen you know at one point but the swarm is not now so the whole thing with swarming swarming overwhelms defenses mm -hmm. but in this case a onesie twosie you know like like you've always talked about one gets through that's bad yeah. enough you know oh, the yeah. one that gets through is the one you worry about now right. swarming overwhelms um, but I don't know. We'll talk about that here in a second. Cause there's a whole article I found about the irrelevance of the air force because of this. But in this situation, it worries me because if number one, it's brazen, you know, if it's, yeah. a, it's a, if it's a foreign actor, this is a brazen act of aggression or, yeah. or surveillance. You know, this is them going because right. You're already violating laws, you know, because drones have to be registered. They can't fly like, they're actively out there violating federal law, but they don't care because the intelligence gained is greater than the risk of getting arrested or fined or whatever. But if they transition to a, hey, we want to take out your fifth gen capability because we want to go, you know, the Taiwan Strait or wherever, what's next in our agenda? Well, they've just, I mean, it's a flip of the switch now. You know, it's, it's the right. next thing. So just scary. Yeah. Yeah, I agree, man. I <laughs> I don't like it. No. <laughs> That's just me.